Hello my charmed ones and welcome back to my channel for another video. So today I want to give you a highly requested tutorial on how to use the digital master planner. So as you can see here, I have a little bit of a mock-up going on on screen that's like pretty much um, replicating my iPad screen so that you guys can follow along. And on, on the screen right now, I'm actually looking at the listing for the 2024 Digital Master Planner. And I wanted to give you guys a few um, pieces of advice, a few tips about this planner before we actually even get into the tutorial. So when it comes to the topic of digital planning, although you can use um, different devices like your phone, like your computer, the way that it's really intended, right, for the most natural use is for you to be using some form of tablet device. So I'm using an iPad, um, but you can use any other number of devices in order to digital plan, right? So I know there's Samsung Galaxy tabs. Someone messaged me that their Kindle Scribe <laughs> um, was able to annotate and they were able to use the master planner digital on on that device um, there are other um, we could say android or google based <laughs> tablets don't hold me to exactly what i'm saying right now i'm, I'm just kind of talking very generally about the tablets because i'm not really familiar with all of these different tablets that you can purchase but the point is is that the tablet becomes the basis for your planner and that from the tablet, you will use some form of a PDF annotation application in order to actually use the planner like you would a paper planner. So instead of writing on paper, you're writing on the screen of your tablet device. So for that reason, it's also very important that your tablet does have a pen as well, right? So I'm using my Apple Pencil with my iPad, right? So this is, you know, pretty much an ideal setup. So um, although I do talk about, you know, you, you are able to use these apps on your phone and there are some applications that'll let you annotate um, on your computer, that really isn't going to be the best and most natural way to digital plan. So what I want to show you today is pretty much the default for digital planning and exactly how you're going to use this file once you purchase it, okay? So this is what I would like to show you today. So like I said, this is just the listing for the Master Planner Digital on the Charm Shop. If you add this to cart, check out, et cetera, right? Let's say you were to do that. I wanna kind of pick up from that place, right? So the first thing I wanna do is uh, go check my email. So. Some people have been asking how you actually get the files onto your iPad. I would recommend that you open your email client on your iPad, right? And find the email that you you received from the charm shop. It looks something like this. I know mine hasn't like fully loaded, but it says like download files. Your order from the charm shop is now complete, right? So I, I, I had done a little test order for myself. And here in the body of this email. Now it's kind of like an invoice as well because you do have some invoice information down at the bottom, but I want to stick to this central area of the email where you can see it lists the products that you've purchased and it says download. There's a column here for download, which means that when you click on any of these links, it's going to open up your actual file. So just for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and click the first one, the 2024 Digital Master Planner Horizontal. And when I do that, it opens up into a link on, on the tablet, right? So here is the file. You can actually look at the file, right? But this is just kind of like a view version of of the file. So what we need to do is go ahead and import this file into one of our PDF annotating applications. And the and the app that I use, which is the one that I see recommended, I feel like the most is GoodNotes, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and and import this file into GoodNotes and this is how you're going to do it. I'm going to click this little hopefully you guys can see on screen when I kind of get close to a button with my pen, it starts to um, highlight. So up on the upper right hand corner, you see that there's like this box button with an arrow pointing upwards. We're going to open that. We're going to go ahead and we're going to scroll through here until we get to open 
in GoodNotes. Do you see that down here? I'm gonna go ahead, it's right second from the bottom, open in GoodNotes. It's editing Alexis here, and I just wanna point out that you need to make sure that you have the application GoodNotes installed on your iPad before you're gonna get this option. It's not some sort of default on the iPad, it's an app you do need to download off of the App Store. Okay, so here I'm able to go ahead and I can actually change the name if I wanted to. Right, I could say my, well, let me just make it look nice. <laughs> my 2024 planner, right? We could call it that if you wanted to, whatever you want to call it, and we can import it as a new document. Now, just a side note, if you're if you already have GoodNotes up and running when you're doing this process, it's going to bring up a slightly different version of this dialog box. And it's going to say something like, do you want to import it into the current document you have open or do you want to open it as a new document? You always want to import it as a new document. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit import as new document. Awesome. So there is, and you hear my, my 2023 you can see is open behind it. I'll go ahead and close that out. Um, you can see here, this is the 2024 Master Planner, the cover. Now, before I hit anything here, I want to kind of get you a little bit acquainted with what's going on on screen here. Um, now, I do want to give you like full disclosure. I think you guys can see that I actually, because of this little iPad um, picture that I've layered into the video, the side, the very sides of my iPad screen are not fully visible to you. So you're gonna have to take my word that there are things there um, if I'm pressing buttons. Because right now, as you see this screen, um, we have a couple of different options on um, the right side of the, upper right side of this application that I want to point to you. Um, so you can see here that we have a, there's like a button here that's like a, I guess this would be to like a page flag, like or a, a bookmark. There is a button here that is a page with a plus mark. This is how you can add pages to your book. We're not gonna get to that right now. There is this circular button. It looks kind of like a circle with a pen in it. Um, and then next to it, which you guys can't actually see are three dots, that if I press that, it comes up with another, it says more is the, is the title of this. Um, this box here. So that's what this tab is, is all about. But right now, from the view that we're in, we can see, this is very important in GoodNotes, the circle with the pen in it. Now, if I tap that, do you see how that icon actually changed to two pens? I'm kind of going back and forth. This, these are the two modes, essentially, inside of GoodNotes that you're going to want to be aware of. And I've had some questions about this, which is why I want to point it out. So from the standard mode right now, here's the cover of our, of our planner. And I've just kind of slid over to the next page. And in order to use the tabs, right, any of the, any of the links that are in the planner, right, any of them, right? So if I go over to calendar, I'm going to go ahead and tap calendar up top that tab. It's opening us to the calendars year at a glance, right? I can go and I can go to um, notes, box notes, right? I can go to um, March. I could go to March 13th here. Boom, boom, boom. We're able to do this because we are inside of this circle <laughs> and the pen view, which is kind of like a navigation view. Right, I've closed the, I've just gone and pressed the corner button, which is closing the planner. Okay, so if we switch this, let me open it up here. If we switch this to the, the two kind of pens crossed option, this gives us the ability to actually write. So you're not able to use navigation while you're writing at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in and we're gonna go ahead and, and write. I do have the pen tool selected here. And, and this tutorial is not meant to be an exhaustive <laughs> um, walkthrough of, of GoodNotes. I just want to give you guys the basics so that you understand the way the application works because I've had a lot of the same questions. And a lot of that has to do with using the tabs and navigation versus writing and things like that. So here we can see I can actually like zoom in, right? So when I'm writing, I generally will zoom in really close. So let's just say, I don't know here. Um, these are just goals here. I'm just gonna just write anything in here, but I'm gonna write it in with my pen and I have my pen tool 
selected. I'm using the ballpoint pen. That's my favorite option, but there's other options if you want to explore those. Um, let's just say here, priority number one, Alexis. So this is me. And what's a goal? Um, yeah, let's say continue my spiritual practice. Okay, just for, this is just, I'm just literally writing anything in. So you guys can see it. And I find that my handwriting gets better on the iPad <laughs> when I am zoomed in like this, right? So zoom in and my, there's my, there's my writing, right? Okay. So we also see here, there's an eraser tool, right? We can erase. I can actually use the button that's like an arrow up here, up top. Can you see that up in the upper right? I'm touching this button. I'm kind of going on, off, right? I can undo, right? If I want to there. There's also highlighters here. I wonder which size I'll have to use here. Highlighters. One of the nice things about the highlighters and even, I think, I think it's also with this, with your drawing shapes tool, is that let's say you're a little bit wobbly, but if you hold a line from point to point, it straightens out automatically. I really love that. So I'll show you guys how I do that again. So I'm just, let's pretend I'm, I'm kind of highlighting something here, but I'm not kind of, you see how my hand's not steady? Okay, but before I get to the end, I hold it and it goes and straightens out. Same thing if I wanted to do something like an arc, it snaps to a, it snaps to an arc. I think that's a setting somewhere. I forget exactly where this setting, I don't know what this, oh, that's another zoom in. There's some setting I know that I set that up in. Anyway, okay, so we're gonna go ahead, and, I'll go ahead and erase these things. Um, but that's using the highlighter tool, and then you can see here the colors. You can add your own colors. I've kind of added my own colors here. Um, also the lasso tool, right? This is a really important tool to use. Um, you can circle things and you can move them places, right? So if you, let's say you put a, um, a plan in the wrong box or something moves, you don't have to erase it and rewrite it. You can lasso it and move it where it needs to go. You can also lasso it and hold it. You kind of tap on it and then this menu comes up and you can copy and then paste. Sorry, I just had a hiccup, <laughs> right? So there's, you don't even have to rewrite things, which is some, one of the things I love. Um, there's a lot of other options in here. There is a text box, which is great if you if you don't want, you don't like your handwriting and you wanna use text box, and let's say you're someone whose iPad or tablet is always on a keyboard, um, you could just write it in with, and I have, you know, kind of set these fonts and everything like this. You can see I'm a Dido Italic 20, et cetera. These things you can mess with. You can change the fonts and things like that. I've just kind of found the font that I like the best and I've set it to the size that kind of works really well with the planner. Um, but I've definitely adjust that when I need to, right? So that's how you actually write. And again, right now, if I were to try to click on um, any of these like tabs, right? It, it's not letting me do it. In fact, if I am on the pen tool and I try to hit a tab, right? Did you see what just happened in April? It It is actually going to mark it. So I'm going to erase that. So you have to make sure that you switch over views back into the navigation view. And that's how you're going to be able to, well, that was me just tapping with my hand, but you're going to be able to go and select a month that way. You're going to be able to select the weeks and select the day, right? So that's the general navigation, right? Let's go ahead and go back to this page here just by navigating. I close the I close the book with the button in the corner, that open book closes it. It brings you back to home, right? Then we have the calendar tab up top. The calendar tab has quick links to some different pages inside this section the year at a glance, the yearly tracker, the overview for January, December, uh, to, I'm sorry, January to June, and then the second one for July to December. Projects gives you the project makes it matrix, the project tracker. Go to matrix. This is the tracker. And then when you scroll over, you start the project plans and um, these actual tabs in here, they're not tabs, these little circles. Anytime you see these circles, it means it's a quick link to a page, right? Just for 
helping you organize and navigate the planner. Brain dump doesn't have anything additional in its section. Brainstorm has a topic list with, again, if you click one of these buttons, it takes you directly to a specific page. The notes, there's the three types of note pages, the lined, the blank, and the boxed, right? And then you also have your divided sections, right? So you're able to actually build out divided sections. Now, so one of the ways this works here is this is because this is where you would really be using this, this plus sign inside of the page icon up top. If you can see, I'm hovering over it. Can you see it? And letting go, having hovering over it, or letting go. But this icon up here, the page, it's an add a page, right? I can use this to add pages to a section. And specifically, if let's say I want to add a lined page, I can go to the lined page and hitting more, the button more, that's the three buttons that we kind of can't see. I've got them a little cut off, cropped off. I can hit copy page. Then I can go back to the section that I want to add it to. So let's say this section, add page, and then I want to add it after this page. And I'm pasting a page in. And now I have a page of notes there. And you can see these are just divided sections. So they're just marked pages so that you're always able to find where you want. So you can create six divided sections inside of your planner. And if I don't like this page anymore, I can go back to the more and I can move page to trash. Right? Let's say I don't want to use that one. Right? And it's gone. Right? So this is the general way that you will use this planner. Right? Using the navigation. Right? Going into specific months, going into specific weeks, going in and actually planning your days. If you want to actually write something in, you want to make sure you're in the right mode in good notes, you know, scroll into what you want and write in your task, right? Blog post, right? And make your, make your plans that way, right? So I hope that this little mini tutorial has kind of shown you how to open your files, right, on your iPad, how to import them in GoodNotes, which is the PDF annotation reader that I use and I recommend it, but there are others out there. And if you're using, you know, a device that's not an iPad, you're probably, you know, I don't think that GoodNotes is on other than anything other than an iOS device. There might be some beta versions, but there are other apps that, according to my audience, work much better on other alternate tablet devices. Um, but you're going to want a reader like this. One of the th great things that this reader does, right, that you kind of take for granted is that when you are done using it, right, you don't have to save a new file, right? You're, this actually saves all of your work in the app for you so that you always pick up where you left off. So that's the beauty of using an app like this, right? This is the preferred method for using a digital planner and getting into digital planning, right? So I hope that this tutorial has been helpful. If you guys have any other questions, let me know and I'd be glad to, you know, address those for you or um, maybe if I have to, creating some more videos for you to understand how to get into digital planning. But pretty much it's all about having the right tool, right? Like a tablet, the pen, like, in, like you know, uh, what do you call this? A stylus sort of pen um, so that you can write by hand and the app right? The actual app that you're going to be using to plan with. And of course, the right file, which in this case is the Charmed Life Master Planner <laughs> Digital Edition, which I think is, um, is really just phenomenal, a phenomenal option for anyone who is, is trying to learn how to plan digitally, right? It's a beautiful planner. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did find this video helpful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with anyone you think would find it helpful. For more of the behind the scenes of my productivity life and business, make sure you're following me on Instagram at Miss Trenchcoat. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button for more awesome videos by me. And until next time, bye bye